we're back, and uh, you know, this is live from the center, the center of what, you ask? The center of the earth, the center of the universe. No, it's the center of all things, theatrical, musical, dancical, and <laughs> susical, right? Oh, oh, nice oh, oh, oh. <laughs> susical! Opening on June the 26th and closing on July the 12th, the wonderful music, a uh, musical from the works of Dr. Spock, who was the science officer on the Enterprise. I believe it was Dr. Seuss. Dr. <laughs> Seuss. And uh, you're in the show? I'm in the show. This is Morgan McKinley, ladies and gentlemen. She plays Daisy the Duck, is that correct? Gertrude McFuzz. <laughs> Gertrude McFuzz. And who is she exactly? Gertrude McFuzz is a bird, and she falls in love with Horton the Elephant, but she doesn't really have the confidence to talk to him because she only has a one feather tail. So she goes to great lengths to improve herself oh, and the poor win over thing. a man. I know. One feather. One feather. But by the end of the show, does it? By the end of the don't by the end anyone. by the middle of the show, I have a bit more than one. A bit more than one. A bit more. You have to come to see how truly. Oh, you bet! I'm going to be there. Magnificent it is. And sitting next to Morgan is Bridget. Bridget Donnelly, and you were just in a show. Yes. What show was that? Uh, the Me Nobody Knows. The Me Nobody Knows. Did you have fun? Yes. How many shows have you been in here now, Bridget? It seems like you're here all the time. Oh, <laughs> a lot. Um, I can't even count them off the top of my head. And who are you in this show, Susan Gold? I am JoJo. And who is JoJo? JoJo is a little girl who imagine, imagines a lot of great things and imagines the whole entire show, I guess. So it's for, this, so the show is from JoJo's point of view. Yep. Oh, that's fabulous. And so, what other Dr. Seuss things have you done? Um, any other plays? Like this is the only one. No. Right? Is there a musical of Grinch? A Broadway musical of Grinch? There should be. Yeah, my brother saw that on Broadway. She did. Yeah. So have you ever done any other Dr. Seuss things? No. No. Nope. All right. So well, you start. This will be your first, and then you can move on. Is this your first? My yes. first Dr. Seuss. Yeah. First Dr. Seuss. But you've done a lot of things. here. I've done so much here. <laughs> you want to name like uh, two of them? Uh, two of them. Twenty uh, fifth annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. Great show. <laughs> And uh, Fiddler on the Roof. Fiddler. Who are you in Fiddler? You're I would Seidel. You're one of the daughters? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cool show. So, Susical the Musical, ladies and gentlemen, June 26th through July 12th. Now, this has got a strange kind of time frame. 8 p.m. Fridays and Saturday, but 627 only is the Saturday, correct? Correct. So, it's every Friday at 8 p.m., but there's only one 8 p.m. show on a Saturday, and that's June 27th. And then on the other two Saturdays, July the 4th and July 11th, the show specifically for mom, dad, grandma, all the kids, Ann, Edna, Uncle Ernie from Iowa, 3 p.m. And then obviously Sundays are normal 3 p.m. matinee. Tickets are $27, $25. But the Saturdays, the 3 p.m. Saturdays, it's just to make it very friendly for everybody. It's only $22. And you call us, 845-876-3088, extension 14. You talk to the lovely Eileen, you'll make a reservation. You just gave your own number. <laughs> I was not the box office number. 876 <laughs> That's it. Don't call me because I won't know how to make a reservation for you. I have no clue. 876-3080. Well, he's 24 hours online, www.centerfulperformingarts.org. So who's directing this play? It is directed by Emily DePew. Do I know her? I think so. I think I do. <laughs> I think you do. Yeah, and who's choreographer? Uh, Risa Patron. And musical direction by? Joanne and Paul Schubert. The lovely Schuberts. And Joanne is going to be on the stage in a moment playing something. And you're going to sing. Yes, I am. But you're not going to sing, apparently. No. Is there a reason for that? No. There's no reason for that? Yeah. We just have to she has a better agent than you do. <laughs> Apparently. Sorry. Apparently. What's up next for you? Anything? Um, next is Rip Van Winkle. Please. You're in Rip, too. I'm telling you, she's here all the time. She and her brother and her mother. Your brother is in uh, Susical as well? Yes. Is he in Rip? No. Is he in Singing in the Rain? No. Were you in It's a Wonderful Life? Yes. He was in It's a Wonderful Life. Yes. But you were not in it. I was not. Um, so. <laughs> so once again, ladies and gentlemen, Susical the Musical, starring amongst other people, Bridget Donnelly, Morgan McKinley, and that opens on June 26th, closes on July the 12th. Call us, please, 845-876-3080. You can call us. 
Tuesday through Friday between the hours of 1 and uh, noon and 5, Saturday 1 to 5, always online, www.centerforperformingarts.org. Tickets are only $27, $25, $22 on the special family shows, July the 4th, July the 11th. And this is sort of like the Saturday morning family thing where we really encourage, you know, the, the phrase, the family that prays together stays together. Well, I think the family that goes to plays together stays together. <laughs> so you bring grandma, mom, dad, the kids, the whole family, just come and see this show. You'll have a great time. So who, you're singing, right? I'm singing. All right, so we're going to set up for a song, and we'll be back in one second. Thank you. Morgan McKinley and Joanne Schubert on the piano doing a number from Susical, the musical, which opens on June 26th, runs to July the 12th here at the center. 8 p.m. Friday and Saturday, but only the 8 p.m. show on June 27th. And then on Saturday, July 4th and Saturday, July 11th, the show is at 3 p.m. and always on Sunday at 3 p.m. Tickets $27, $25 special for their Saturday matinees, $22 because we want the whole family to come. Bring everybody. Bring mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, the kids, the dog, the cat. Bring everyone. <laughs> everyone. After Susigal the Musical, we are very fortunate. We very rarely get to do a new musical. I think this is the second ever. And when did we open? In 1998? So what year are we in now? 2015? So that's what, 17 so years? Awesome. This is the second new musical ever. Wow. And this is Michael Berkeley sitting to my right. And I've got his shirt on. Rip the musical. Somebody called the other day at the box office and they said they want to order tickets for R.I.P. What? <laughs> I said, no, we'll take, we'll take it. just say it all. It's ripped. So this is about, I was going to make a joke, this is about Rip Torn and, and Geraldine Page, but it's not, obviously. It's so, not. so Michael, you did the book with Ray Roderick. Yes. And you did the music and the lyrics. With me. With yourself. Yes. And you are directing this show. Yeah. And you're producing the show. Pamela Chasson is actually producing. You're the executive producer. You're not co-producing. You are the producer. Oh my goodness, I should have you up here. All right, never mind. All right, so, so Michael, this show is about whom? It's about Rip Van Winkle. Whom we all know. Who, from legend and from lore and from the works of Washington Irving, we all know that he's the guy that fell asleep in the Catskill Mountains and slept for 20 years. Mm -hmm. Not Missed Washington Irving. Washington Irving didn't no, sleep for 20 no, years. He no, he stayed he, stayed. Yeah. he kept writing. <laughs> <laughs> but he missed some major things between 1770 and 1790, the Revolutionary War, the signing of the Declaration of Independence, and all those things. Yeah. So who's in this show? Who's playing Rip? Rip is being played by Yerick. Help me with the pronunciation. Zivzinski. It's too many, too many letters. Zivzinski. Zabzinski. Yeah, Zabzinski. who was just in The Producers. Mm -hmm. Funny, funny guy. Yeah, he's great. great. He's very, very good. Him. And this is Amber, Amber Cameron, who is choreographed in the show. Yeah. And uh, so uh, Yarrick is in it, and Bridget Donnelly, who was just here, she's in it. Uh, and a lot of center people are in it. Um, Lisa as well. Lisa Lynn. Lisa Lynn. And yeah. Michael Britt. Michael Britt, who was just in... Uh, 
uh, what show was he in? He was La Cage aux Folles. And before that, he was in Drowsy Chaperone. Yes. Well, I'm talking to Prince Kevin Archambeau out there. <laughs> who refuses to be on camera today. So, Michael, the inspiration. Now, you've had this show for a while, right? This well, we started the, about 20 years ago, about the same. With this show? Yeah. Ray and I had this idea to create this show that would accommodate a large community of people. And so it began sort of as a valentine to the Hudson Valley. And we, um, it was about seven hours long. So it was, <laughs> it was sprawling, it needed to be honed down, retightened, and then we let it go for a while. And recently, I would say in the past few years, Pamela Chaston insisted that we revive the show and then it wake up and come back. And so I've been working on this for the past three years. We did a reading in the city and a reading somewhere else. And here we are putting it on its feet. It's essentially a new show. It is a new it's show. Become new and yeah, I know. I, I've seen and music. two or three versions of it. And there have been changes uh, even in the ones that I've seen. So this show, because this is important, this opens on July 17. July 17, I'm looking at this camera. July 17, 18, 19, three days only. But you have a double header on the Saturday, correct? On July the 18th, two shows. At two and eight, or is it three and eight? Three and eight. On July 17th, Friday, 8 p.m. On the 18th, 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. And on Sunday the 19th, at 3 p.m. Tickets, $27, $25. You know who to call, 845-876-3080. You talk to Eileen, you do that Tuesday through Friday between noon and five, Sunday, Saturday, one to five. Always online, ladies and gentlemen. You wake up in the middle of the night, I have got to see a play. <laughs> www.centerforperformingarts.org. So, Amber, have you guys worked together a lot? Oh, many times. Many, many times. times. Many times. Michael and I have done a lot of shows together. I think we work together really well, which is we why do. we keep doing a lot of shows together um, but this is my first time with Rick Van Winkle. First time with, yeah, Rick. with Rick. So Michael now you you you're one of the most famous men in the region because you for how many years ran Triumph? About 22 years. 22 years so even when it was in Pine Plains you were you were involved. I was the resident musical director. You were the musical director and, and, the and then you became the uh, artistic director when you moved to Connecticut. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Good, that's great. And you know a lot of the people who work here because many of them, when they were exactly. much younger, worked in Pine Plain. Right. Yeah. I've seen them grow so, up generations after generations. So this is your first time, <laughs> first time working at the center. It is. Yeah. yeah and I've seen many shows here, but I've never seen here. shows, but it's different when you're actually like doing. It's very something. different. Yeah, it's like a factory here, you know. <laughs> it really it's is. It's pretty impressive. Well, you know, we were rehearsing the other day, and uh, there we are in one room. We're trying to sing, and there are guys <laughs> in the next room, and they're singing. Singing, and there are guys upstairs and they're singing and then we do that for a three-hour block let's say in the morning and then we got another crew doing it in the afternoon and then there's a show at night so. it was a cacophony of oh creativity. it's crazy <laughs> it's crazy so other shows I was on your website the other day looking at all the stuff you've done you have quite quite a menu I've things. done a lot of different shows yeah. I like working it with at, at all levels of, of experience and with different people in different places yeah I like we to just mix finished it up a lot. Hello Dolly. We did Hello at Dolly the Warner at, Theater at the Warner. Torrington. Do you know the Warner Theater? I do know. It's a big, large theater. Mm -hmm. And we worked at the high school in um, Falls Village. We do shows there. So we did The Boyfriend, then we jumped into Hello Dolly. And You're both artists in residence at this at school, time. right? Mm -hmm. Artists in residence mm -hmm. at this school? Right, we don't teach there. You don't teach. That's great. F fabulous, fabulous. And uh, do you have many of the kids who are in your program? Are they now in RIP? Did you bring some people do over? We have from no, we don't. It's but kind from, of a far, it's a far drive, unfortunately. It's a bit of a for drive. Us in Falls Village. Oh, yeah, although we have two from Dover's, Dover Plains High School, where uh -huh. I did Peter Pan, mm -hmm. and they're they're driving quite a distance, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. Cool. So. Really good. So, but you do have other other shows, and you also have a uh, was it a Gershwin? Who's the composer? You do a whole Irving evening? Berlin. Oh, Irving Berlin. You do an evening in Berlin. I love a piano. Yeah, yeah, that's great. And you teach as well. I do. Yeah, that's fabulous. Amber, are you teaching privately? I do. I do tap classes, dance classes, and yeah, quite a bit of choreography. Like cool. So, ladies and gentlemen, again, this is Rip the Musical, book by Michael Berkeley and Ray, whom I have not met. Ray, Ray Roderick. He lived in Pine Plains for a while, yeah. and New York. Yeah, um, he's he's all over the place. He, Are we going to see him at this show? He'll be here to see it. He, cool. I think he's directing Shamu right now, the whale. Wow. Is he a whale? Yeah. Okay. And music and lyrics by Michael Berkeley. And again, this show opens on July seventeenth, July seventeenth, eight p.m. On Saturday the eighteenth, three p.m. and eight p.m. On the nineteenth, three p.m. Tickets twenty-seven dollars, twenty-five dollars. 
online, www.centerforperformingarts.org, or you phone us up for tickets, you call 845-876-3080, Tuesday through Friday between noon and 5, and on Saturday between one and five and I'm looking forward to this I have a small role in it so it should be fun I'm wearing the shirt okay <laughs> I expected that they would too I thought we'd have this wonderful thing of three three rip shirts but no no they didn't do it so you're gonna do a number for us correct I am. all right so we'll be right back now this is a song sung by Rip Van Winkle Michael Berkeley on the piano singing a very lovely song from the new musical that we're doing here, Rip. And as Amber reminded me during the break, this is a musical that you will feel like you have known the songs forever. And when you leave the theater, that's what you will be singing, thinking, humming, dreaming at night, discussing <laughs> with your spouse, arguing with your teenage children. So Rip is playing July the 17th, 18, 19, July 17th, Friday, 8 p.m. Saturday, the 18th, 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Sunday, the 19th at 3 p.m. Tickets are $27, $25. Please call us, 845-876-3080. Tuesday through Friday, noon to 5. Saturday, 1 to 5, 24 hours a day online, www.centerforperformingarts.org. So, just so you think that, that um, you know, the only thing we do here is musicals, well, the next show coming up, is uh, Bertolt Brecht's The Good Woman of Szechuan. And it's being, I'm kidding. Actually, this is a show I've waited for a long time. It's the musical of Shakespeare's The Tempest. It's called Singing in the Rain. It opens on July the 24th. This is based on the movie. This is Diana DeGrande sitting in the middle, whom you all know, who is a director and a producer. She's acted on the stage. She's on our board. She's producing this show. And this is the movie. This is the, it's, it's the play based on the movie. Play, play, play based on the movie. Right. Yeah, so it's yeah. not, a, it didn't exist as a play before. No. So it was filmed first. And then, then it, it became, was adapted into a play. Yeah. And this is opening on July 24th, runs through August 16th. Yes. Produced by Diana. This is an up in one production, and directed by Prince Kevin. You know, you got me confused with these cameras, so I'm going to look at this one. Uh -huh. So that's what you told me to do. Prince Kevin. Up there is our director, also the choreographer, Singing in the Rain. And uh, two of the actors are here. This is Joe Martino, and that is Zach Marshall. Have you been on this show before? Mm -hmm. This show? Have you been on this show before? Or is this your first time? This is my first time on this show. On this show? But on you've been show, here yeah. at the center since? Oh, God, 2006. 
eight? Yeah, how old were you? Uh, Oh, nine, eight. You were nine. Yeah, I was little. <laughs> he was a little boy. Oh, I was little. With God. Long, so, hair. Joe, who are you in this show? I am playing Don Lockwood. Don Lockwood. So, tell everybody who Don is and what does he do? Uh, Don Lockwood is an ex vaudeville performer and who's now a famous Hollywood actor. Um, it, as far as silent movies go. And now what they're doing is talking pictures are becoming um, the new thing, and he's not as good as them as he thought he would be. And why is that? Um, why is that? <laughs> um, can he not speak? No, he can speak. He's just not ma made for them. Okay, so he's better as a silent movie actor. Yes, and well, he's best as um, a singer dancer. Singer dancer. Performer. So this is the yeah. Gene Kelly role. Yes. Great. And who are you? I'm the Donald O'Connor role, Cosmo Brown. Donald O'Connor and Gene Kelly, right here, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> in front of our camera. And you both dance quite a bit in this show. Yes. Yeah. A bit. It's a big dance show. Only a little bit, though. Diana, is it going to rain? It is going to rain. How are we doing that? we know how we're doing that? I'm frightened. Through the magic of Andy Weintraub. <laughs> but it, it actually, water is going to fall. Water down. is going to fall, yes. How are we getting rid of the water? Where is it going to go? Okay. It's going to go out the back. Oh, through the garage door in the back? <laughs> through, through, through a pipe. Through, through the a pipe? Yes. How cool you is that? give away all our secrets, Luke. I'm not giving away anything, ladies it's and magic. gentlemen. But you should come and see it. Well, you know, I just want to know how we do these things. Yes. You know, I'm, I'm ignorant of this. And Kevin is directing and choreographing. And uh, musical direction is by? Uh, Matthew Willover. Matt, who's up here, whom we're going to meet in a little bit. And uh, set is uh, Andy, yes. set and lights, Andy yes. Weintraub. Yes. Who else is in this show? That I, who are the girls? Uh, Grace Obi okay. is in the show. Melissa Matthews is in the show. Uh, we, we have a lot of, a lot of dancers. Who's Gene Hagen and who's Debbie Reynolds? Because that's how everybody knows. Oh, this. okay. Uh, Debbie Reynolds would be Melissa Matthews. Uh -huh. And Grace Obi would be Gene Hagen. I can't stand it, right? Yeah. Yeah. I can't stand it. Fabulous film. Yes. Fabulous film. 1954. Four? Yeah, right? The heyday. Yes. That was like the platinum era of musicals. I mean, it was just past gold. It was in platinum. They were yeah. And it's a great book, you know, yeah. Condon and Green, my gosh. Yeah, it's fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. Fabulous, fabulous. So, uh, this is your first thing here? Yes, it is. And how do you feel about that? Um, Be truthful now. Be truthful now. <laughs> well, it, you're casting in the future. It doesn't have anything to do with, it, with anything that you say. Believe me. <laughs> um, it, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait till opening night. Yeah, you've yeah. been rehearsing quite a bit. Oh yeah. Yeah, a lot of dance. I see you down there sweating and huffing and puffing. And <laughs> Just and yeah, yeah. And all of that. And you've done like a lot of shows. A couple, yeah. yeah. A couple. Come on, a couple. You, you're in like everything. <laughs> You were in Les Mis last year. Yeah, yeah, that was, a, that was a really fun time. It was. It was a beautiful that show. That turntable. Yes, yes, it was a fabulous show. Fabulous show. And were you in White, White Christmas as well? Yeah. You were in White yeah, Christmas? Yeah, White Christmas. That was... That was yeah. What, and then you did the Shakespeare Festival this year and last year. But you've done so many other things. Like, what else have you been in? Oh, um, well, most recently here, I, I just got done with La Cage of Faux. La Cage. So that was a lot of fun. Right. Got learned a lot about makeup. Right. Okay. right. Um, oh, you yeah, know, I just, I've been, lots of different things all over. It's kind of all meshing together. Yeah. In my head. It becomes like it all just, one It just show. turns into theater. Yeah, theater. That's all it is. His right? first show here was Urine Town, Ooh, no, no. Uh, which was an up in one production. And uh, was he it? just blew us away. Yes. Yeah, so what was that? No, like no, 2009. No, a long time ago. Eight? He was just a young kid. No, I think the first thing I did here was Oliver. Oh, did you do Oliver? You, yeah. Oh, you first up in one yeah, production. Yeah, up in one production. Were you one of the little kids in Oliver? Yeah. <laughs> I'm You're all No, no, no. I'm only 39, Kevin. We all know that to be true. Uh, Singing in the Rain opens on July the 24th, runs through August 16th. This is four weeks? Yes. Four weeks. So, you have lots of opportunities, but I'm sure this show is going to sell out. Always, 8 p.m. Friday and Saturday, 3 p.m. on Sunday. Tickets, $27, $25. You know what to do. 845-876-3080. You talk to Eileen. You can speak to her Tuesday through Friday between the hours of noon and 5. Saturday, always, 1 to 5. And you know what? It's one of those great things about living in the 21st century. 
online, 24 hours a day. You can order a ticket, www.centerforperformingarts.org. So, 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 so easy. Why should people come and see it? It's a great show. It's it is a great summer show. summer fair. Yeah. It's family fair. Yeah, and ladies and yeah. gentlemen, you won't want to miss the rain. You just simply... <laughs> No, I'm serious. I mean, like last year with Les Mis, it was the turntable and the barricade. You didn't want to miss that, right? So you don't want to miss the big number singing in the rain, right? And we're actually going to do a number from the show. So again, this show, July 24, August 16, 8 p.m., Fridays and Saturdays, 3 p.m. on Sunday, four-week run. You have a lot of chances, but this show's going to sell out, so you better start ordering your tickets now. 845-876-3080 or centerforperformingarts.org. We'll be right back. I can jump over the moon up above Fit as a fiddle and ready for love Having a worry, having a care Feel like a feather that's floating on air Fit as a fiddle and ready for love Soon the church bells will be ringing And the march will find God Soon the church bells will be ringing With a hey, naughty, naughty and a ha cha cha Hi, diddle, diddle, my baby's okay Ask me a riddle, what does she say? was Matt Wilber on keyboard. Matt is the musical director of Singing in the Rain and thanks to Zach Marshall and Joe Martino doing a wonderful number from Singing in the Rain playing July 24 through August 16 here at the center. And that is an 8 p.m. Friday and Saturday, 3 p.m. on Sunday, 845-876-3080 or centerforperformingarts.org. Call us for tickets. I just want to remind you about a couple of other things happening. August 22nd here at the Center. We'll talk more about it next month. The lovely and multi-talented Alice Ripley is going to be with us for our annual fundraiser here at the Center. And tickets are going fast. I mean, we're like 11 weeks out of this thing from today's taping date. And already we've sold like 50 tickets already, 45, 46 tickets. Fabulous. We only got to sell 150. So if you want to come to our fundraiser, it's only $50 supporting a good cause, the Center for Performing Arts at Rhinebeck. And also want to remind you that in that wonderful weekend, she's on August 22, we have a special fundraiser Friday night called It's Magic. And also a real treat on Sunday the 23rd, the Hudson Valley Shakespeare Festival is coming here to do a free performance of Shakespeare's The Tempest. And that's going to be a 2 p.m. show on Sunday, August 23rd. You won't want to miss it. And obviously, there are a lot of other things happening here. You want to call Babette Fazolino at 876-3088, extension, she's 13, extension 13. Look at this. Do I have the right side up? Summer Arts Camps. Summer Arts Camps. There are so many things happening. It starts on when? July what? Sixth. Sixth? Thank you. That's the lovely Babette Fazolino <laughs> shouting from the balcony. And she's about to grab a cable and swing down <laughs> and across the stage. And uh, so anyway, we have lots and lots and lots of uh, kids on stage. Uh, performance camps doing Shrek Jr. and Once Upon a Mattress. You want your kids involved in that. Kids on stage in immediate. A couple of... Uh, uh, sequences of that, doing Alice in Wonderland, uh, Kids on Stage Intermediate Scene Study, Little Kids on Stage, The Magic of Disney, taught by the lovely Kevin Archambo, Voice for Theater, Beginning Puppetry, Tech Camp, Hair and Makeup, Dance for Theater, Really Rosy Stage Combat, and Shakespeare <laughs> for the Stage. Bridget. So, um... Remember to come see Seussical opening Friday, July, not July, June 26th. June 26th here at the center. How long does it run? There it is. This is three weekends. Three weeks till July 12th. And this is Bridget, and she's JoJo, and you can't miss her. So thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next month. Everything the traffic will allow.